Part 4. Short Talks. Questions 12 to 15. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear two short talks. Each will be spoken twice. They will not be printed in your test paper, so you must listen carefully to understand and remember what is being said. In your test paper, you will read two questions about each short talk. Each question will be followed by four answers. You have to choose the best answer to each question and mark it on your answer sheet. Now let's begin with the following short talk. Questions number 12 and number 13 refer to the following announcement. Stay away from the burning building. I repeat, stay away from the burning building. Firefighters need room. Let emergency personnel come through. Now read question number 12 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 12 and number 13 refer to the following announcement. Stay away from the burning building. I repeat, stay away from the burning building. Firefighters need room. Let emergency personnel come through. Now read question number 12 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 12 and number 13 refer to the following announcement. Stay away from the burning building. I repeat, stay away from the burning building. Firefighters need room. Let emergency personnel come through. Now read question number 13 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 12 and number 13 refer to the following announcement. Stay away from the burning building. I repeat, stay away from the burning building. Firefighters need room. Let emergency personnel come through. Now read question number 13 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 14 and number 15 refer to the following procedure. When the customer finishes the first course, clear the table. In other words, take away the cutlery and dishes. Then bring the dessert menu, a clean napkin, and a dessert spoon and fork. Put the spoon and fork on top of the clean napkin. Now read question number 14 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 14 and number 15 refer to the following procedure. When the customer finishes the first course, clear the table. In other words, take away the cutlery and dishes. Then bring the dessert menu, a clean napkin, and a dessert spoon and fork. Put the spoon and fork on top of the clean napkin. Now read question number 14 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 14 and number 15 refer to the following procedure. When the customer finishes the first course, clear the table. In other words, take away the cutlery and dishes. Then bring the dessert menu, a clean napkin, and a dessert spoon and fork. Put the spoon and fork on top of the clean napkin. Now read question number 15 in your test paper and answer it. Questions number 14 and number 15 refer to the following procedure. When the customer finishes the first course, clear the table. In other words, take away the cutlery and dishes. Then bring the dessert menu, a clean napkin, and a dessert spoon and fork. Put the spoon and fork on top of the clean napkin. 
Now read question number 15 in your test paper and answer it. This is the end of the listening section.